Welcome to Meru University of Science and Technology. Meru University of Science and Technology is a full-fledged university. Meru University um, decided to embark on uh, research on Raspberry Pi. Here we call it RPi. Raspberry Pi was started by a team of four staff of Meru University. These are Daniel Baitethia, who is the team leader. We also have Mr. Weekly Forono. We have Mr. Abkul Orto. And we have Mr. Kenodi Amogi. Raspberry Pi is a low-cost credit card-sized computer that plugs into a computer monitor or a TV and uses a standard keyboard and a mouse. It's a capable uh, little device that enables people to, of all ages to explore computing and learn how to program in languages, namely Scratch and Python. But we, can, we are still exploring more other uh, programming languages. This uh, electronic device was developed for teaching computer science in schools. And it doesn't have an age. It can be used by any person and any level of academic uh, qualifications. Beside being portable, Raspberry Pi is affordable and can be easily interfaced with other automation platforms and projects. It is equally cheap. This project is geared towards using a credit card Raspberry Pi to teach computational units in the university. When we embarked on this project, we had five objectives. One of the objectives was to establish a lab, a laboratory for Raspberry Pi. Two, we also wanted to use Raspberry Pi in teaching uh, undergraduate courses that uh, more deal with computational uh, units. We also wanted to develop students' manuals for teaching the units. Also evaluate students' performance in the use of Raspberry Pi. And uh, the fifth but not least, to publish novel scientific outcomes from this uh, project. My name is James Baraka. I'm a student in the university. I'm um, for the year, first semester. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is the system that I'm uh, talking about. It's a simple level you can see. There are several verbs, uh, some verb collection. So, in this setup, uh, this bag, I'm calling it to my kitchen. This one is my bedroom. This one is my living room. And this one is my security right. So, with my phone, I can able to control all these bugs. Also, I have a door here. I assume this is my home. This is my house now. For now, my door is locked. Still, I can able to access my house using my phone. I'll demonstrate how to switch on the lights from my phone. Here is an application that I have designed so that you can able to access your home in a simple layout. Not guessing command, but in a simple layout, you can, able to, you can able to access your home. For example, in this layout, it is well labeled that this one is a living room, and you can switch on or off. For now, they are off. If I click on the living room, it goes on. If I click off. I'm expecting that bulb to go off. Most of this, our bulb there, this is my kitchen. And it's also well labeled in my layout that this is the kitchen. So you don't confuse the kitchen and the bedroom. So you just click the kitchen to go on, and the kitchen bulb goes on. This also, you can switch it off just by clicking of button and it goes off. And you can see that it is just instance. You don't have to wait for long so that it can go off but it can go on. It's just going on and off automatically. Here is a uh, door. For now it is locked as you can see. 
But still, you can able to open the door using your phone. There's a button here, and there's also a remote that is a door. So if I want to open the door, I just click open. And you can hear that some sound that comes from the lock, and the doors open. <laughs> so if, if I want to close the door, I can show you the mechanism that the door, the door is using. If I'm closing the door, I just click the close button here, and you can see the lock just come out. There and as you can see, it is waiting for a valid fingerprint to unlock. So what you do is, for example, to can, okay, look. it confirms the twice so that there is no error. So place your fingerprint twice as it actually directs you. Doing the Pi is looking at the Pi as a learning device. You know, the government was saying, hey, we want to buy laptops for students. Uh, I don't think it has yet been actually, it's okay. At some point it has, but what if they had the thought, what if they knew about the Raspberry Pi? Which is, it is a computer in itself. What if they knew about the Raspberry Pi and what it could do? So, as of current, there is no software. I don't think there is a software which, is, which, which uses the, the Pi to teach. But what I've done is, there is a software I've created, it's called Learn with the Rasp. I'm still working on a better name, but it's learning with a Raspberry Pi. And the target is a class two, a class two, class three. The same, the, the same target the government had, a class one or a class two student. So the, my idea in my head is that the student has his or her Pi, and they will go back. I'm a, alternatively, the, the, the school, is a, they are computer. The, the computer lab only has the monitor, the keyboard, and the mouse. So what the student does, is he comes with his Pi, hooks it up, or he, already, he finds a ready-made Pi there on the computer lab. And once it, it's up, he puts the, the Pi and all. Uh, it directs him to a software, that software, which is Learn with the Rasp. I uh, Learn with the Rasp, it's built, it's ready, it's there. And so what the student does is that uh, he finds all the subjects there, mathematics, English, all the subjects in, um, for the class one student, which, he, which they cover in school. And mathematics, English, and all that class. One other added for technology because we are still teaching the kids how to work with technology and such. So, um, besides that, okay, the, the lessons are there, the interactive, because you know, for, for a child, they have to be, the, the user interface has to be good looking, that's one. It has to be easy to use, it, does, it, it, it should not be complicated. So, the software is easy to use for class one, class two, that's our target for.